So this is the litter right here. Okay, now Ian goes as far as saying <clears throat> you can build your litter bank and <clears throat> you can get the animals to tramp it on the ground. And in, in extreme instances, you can use this as a food resource. In other words, you can let your cows eat the litter bank. Now when you do that, you elected not to feed hay, the cows are going to remove this from your land, and that might get you through a tough period in your life, but you've got to put that litter bank back. The very first time you get rain and everything comes back good, get this put back on the ground. Cows will eat that. They'll eat that, and they'll do about as good on that as they will hay. Okay? But when you take your litter bank off, just realize you've exposed all your sun, soil. light to the soil surface, your ground's going to crack open, and you're going to kill a lot of your soil. Mm -hmm. But that might be better than having to sell all your cows. And there's no hay available. You can't buy it. It's just say, I'm just saying, if you get in that situation, you can eat this. And they'll do pretty good on it. Does that go for the winter time as well? Absolutely. There's pretty good litter. I mean, look at that. There's pretty good litter over there. Um, but, and we got Hurricane Isaac that fall. It hit um, September uh -huh. September 3rd, Hurricane Isaac. Uh -huh. Well, it, it whammed you all down in here, but we got all the rain effect up our way. We got nine inches. Uh -huh. We got nine inches in over about three days. It absolutely saved us. You know why it saved us? Because we didn't overgraze our farm. We still had residue, it was all brown, but it was about that tall across all of our farms. And instantly overnight, it turned green and it started growing and we had winter stockpile. All my neighbors looked like that because they hadn't destocked any. They don't graze correctly to begin with. And I mean, they were out of feed. And when that rain came, all it did is it just ran off their land down to the creeks and ended up in the Pacific Ocean. So if you can keep residue on your farm, it's not how much rain you get, it's how much you keep. That's the importance of building a litter bank. If you don't have a litter bank on your farm, shame on you. Open up your grass and look down. There should be some dry stuff laying on top of the ground. That's the future of your farm is the litter bank. So try and get that trampled on the ground. And Ian will go as far, he hates tractors and he hates brush hogs, but he said, if you don't have enough animals, brush hog it. Brush hog it, but brush hog it high. And that stuff will work its way down with rain and animals grazing on it. You will get a litter bank if you don't have enough animals. It's hard if you don't have a big herd to get or enough animals to get it trampled on the ground. And when do you brush hog? You brush hog in the, when, the, when the plants are still growing. Once the plants get up on a seed head, I like to take about, you know, maybe this much of the plant off and that gets the stem in the seed head. Don't get down in here. So if you're in a brush hog, brush hog it, you know, eight to nine inches up here. And behind the cattle. And behind the cattle, not in front. 